How's it going guys, Jensen Crypto here, and today we're going to be talking about four individuals. We are going to be talking about Craig Grant, Crypto Nick, Ryan Hildreth, and Trevon James. Now, just to let you guys know, is I don't dislike these people, nor do I like these people. I'm very neutral with all four of them. Um, the reason why I'm going to be talking about them today, for those of you guys who are subscribed to my channel, have been uh, looking through my channel, and watching my videos and all this stuff, I applaud you guys. You guys know about my slow off the beat claps i don't like to talk about other youtubers it's just not in me to want to talk about other people but i am in this community and these are the people that affect this community and they are the biggest audience of this community and you know i feel i need to address these kind of things so first of all as far as if they're a good person or a bad person i only think that there's one of the four as bad and um the other one as like semi right i think craig grant is actually kind of a bad person and i have my own little reasons on that uh, i kind of like what i picked on from what i've watched his videos from and stuff like that as you guys can see he deleted every one of his videos except four videos right here he tries to show like a certain persona of him as a as a guru as a good person and individual and all that stuff but uh there's been a lot of drama with him there's been a lot of like controversy with him and from what i've seen he doesn't seem like a good person you know um that's why i want to address with craig grant i don't think anybody should be following his words he doesn't really make much cryptocurrency videos as far as you know what every other cryptocurrency person in this community does he does a lot of like his own life you know like oh i'm um, here and there and this and that and yeah i mean like i don't think there's a problem with promoting affiliate links and stuff like that you make your own choice in this world you click it if you don't want to or if you do want to you put the money like it's all your choice now as far as this whole government stuff Guys, we are in cryptocurrency. Was the point to be decentralized or not? Was the point to be away from the government's eyes or not? It's very funny to me that we are such a beautiful community of cryptocurrency people. And BitConnect specifically, this whole drama of BitConnect, we have decided, oh, well, let's bring in the government just this one time guys just this one time is going to be another time and another time and another time and another time eventually obviously the government is going to try to find a way to make its money eventually someday some way they will get involved somehow with cryptocurrency especially with, with little stupid dramas like this they're definitely going to want to get involved right things like this pushes that to be way quicker than it should be right uh, private coins. Really quickly, I want to talk about private coins, even though we're talking about these four individuals. Like I said, I don't feel too comfortable talking about other people, but they are a part of my community and they are affecting the tone of this community. And I do not like the tone right now of the community. It's very, very, uh, it's nasty, guys. It's a very nasty tone right now that's, that's happening in this community, especially with whole, the whole Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies dropping like crazy. It's, it's like, it's mixing in like a big pot a big cauldron and it's just mixing it in and, and then you see the color change to like green like glowing green it looks like it's about to erupt it's it's really bad guys um so yeah privacy coins i don't think privacy coins will have too much of a future as far as um not legitimacy more like uh the reality to things right in the reality to things uh eventually private coins might be out loud or something like that because they can't be traced whatsoever right but that's just speculation that might be you know maybe there's no way for them to outlaw them but then again bitcoin can be illegal i believe bitcoin is illegal in certain areas of the world but yeah guys craig grant he's not he's not like look at this there's four videos he deleted almost every one of his videos for a good reason you know people if they were to delete this is like deleting your channel by the way this is almost like deleting your channel if you're deleting the majority of your videos, it's like you deleting your channel. Now, why did he do that? Well, my guess would be things related to lawyers. 
that might be it. Um, now, as far as deleting BitConnect videos, I completely understand that. Why? Because if somebody were to watch one of your BitConnect videos, it wouldn't make sense to them. You're making a lending uh, profit or anything like that. You're putting, oh, I'm going to lend this much and all that stuff. Make sure you guys check this out, whatever, whatever, whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't correlate anymore. It doesn't make sense anymore. It's not, BitConnect is not a lending platform anymore. So why is there, why should there be lending, uh, you know, videos out there that just make no sense to the current, you know, day. So I understand that part, but as far as deleting everything, you know, like, let me see, first of all, what he did leave two videos of BitConnect right there, as you guys can see. So look, look, this is what I meant by you know, he's seen as a cryptocurrency person of the community, but he doesn't, like, what is this? This, this is, is Brussels sprouts. sprouts. I had never. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what is this? This is Brussels sprouts. <laughs> no, no, that killed me right there. <laughs> okay. I guess we're in a gardening, uh, we're in a gardening video right now. Uh, I might be in the wrong community right now. I, I should start making gardening videos. That's a joke, guys. Anyways, um, yeah, there's really no substance here, guys. So we're done talking about Craig, Craig Grant. Crypto Nick, things are also pretty Ari, right? He deleted a lot of videos. I mean, a lot, a lot of videos. Look at that. I can't even scroll anymore. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm assuming it's lawyer-related things. Um... I believe he is 17 years old, Crypto Nick, if I remember correctly. So uh, he is one of the biggest audience in the cryptocurrency community. And a lot of people don't like that he left, right? But I mean, like, we got to ask why did he leave? And he did, he, he stopped making videos. You know, first of all, uh, he did make a couple videos before completely going away. You know, the Bitcoin community shut down and then he kept making videos everybody disliked every single one of his videos horrible comments all these kind of things and then eventually he just deleted all the videos left a couple uh here and that's pretty much what happened now let me look at these videos real quickly just what to see the community not the community the the comment section okay so big connect i see no big connect this was in january 2nd so there should be a big connect uh referral link and stuff like that there let's look at for example the last one right it's like genesis, genesis mining. mining the last one would probably have a big connect actually you know what i've noticed guys all of them have the same exact look to it and if they have the same exact look to it that means what he did was he selectively deleted every one of his videos depending like, yeah. on the video and then he replaced the comment section i mean the uh, description section with the exact same thing for every one of his videos so that is that has to be a lawyer related thing right there is cases of him um right now that they're trying to sue him right which is ridiculous like i said guys why are we bringing the government but whatever this is a 17 year old kid by the way yeah he made millions but anyways he deleted a lot of videos and he replaced every description with the same exact thing what does that tell me that tells me that he's obviously trying to do some uh, some security for himself just in case these lawyer kind of things actually do happen. So I do believe that that's what happened here. All right, Ryan Hildreth. Now he's one I definitely, definitely see as a RE individual, maybe probably a bad person, right? I don't like, like I said, he's another one that I just kind of like, caught on little things right he dis he recently disabled like and dislike and all that stuff um there's a lot of like weirdness to his comment section because look let me show you guys something real quickly all right we're gonna go to his channel and we're gonna go to he did delete his big neck videos and all that stuff obviously but anyways uh let's go to for example this one what's, what's up youtube, YouTube? This is Ryan oh Hilda. he he disabled that okay let's go to Let's go to this one. What's up? All right, here we go. Here's a perfect example. 626 dislikes and 212 likes, right? Now, if we're going down here, you notice something. The majority of the comments are positive. 
So maybe the bad comments are truly being filtered, as you guys can see. That would only that would be the only thing that makes sense, which you can do in my uh, comment section kind of thing in my uh, channel. It shows a little checkbox and it says to uh, you have the choice to remove unwanted comments, right? Like comments that that are designated spam or um, not friendly or anything like that. As you guys can see, it kind of looks like he turned that on. So he disabled the like and dislike, obviously, because the ratio is horrible for him currently. And obviously, he's going to take out the BitConnect referral and all that kind of stuff. So obviously, lawyer-related things, same exact thing. But Ryan Hildreth is a very specific kind of individual because of who he is as far as the... Um, as far as who he is as a person, but as far as how he shows himself in this community, how he talks in this community, what he does, his actions and all this kind of stuff. Um, it's not good. It really isn't. It does a very bad tone. You know, where, where? And he's also one of the biggest um, in this community. Now, Trevon James, I have a sort of, I mean, like, I can't say I dislike this guy. I really don't. I don't. I'm sorry that I said that I dislike Ryan Hildreth. I I don't dislike or like any of these people, you know. But as far as Trevon James, I mean, like, I don't truly feel like he meant to do any harm. I really don't think so. It it doesn't. It doesn't give me that kind of uh, that vibe, I guess. Right? It doesn't. It doesn't make sense, you know. Like I've been watching a couple of his videos. Even back then, I've watched uh, a lot of his videos and stuff like that, and. The kind of vibe that he gives me is truly one that's not uh, schemish, I guess, right? He did uh, put this video here, and I do believe that this video should be watched by a lot of you guys, especially the ones that are uh, talking a lot of shit about this whole lawyer stuff and really trying to get people in, in the cryptocurrency market and all that stuff. It, the guy spoke very well. It's not Trevon James. It's somebody else. You should watch that video. It's a very good video. Now, one last thing that I want to discuss throughout this whole thing uh, let's go really quickly to another tab and we're gonna go right over here to social blade and I want to show you guys something very interesting Watch this guys By the way social blade what they do is they show you the kind of like subscriber uh, Amount that they're getting per day kind of thing. So here's let me see which one's Craig's grant now I'm gonna look by the uh, Okay, so look that's the same face Craig grant blah 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 Okay, so let's go back over here. Right here. It says he has zero subscribers, but I don't think I believe that one. So it has to be this one. Then am I in the wrong channel? Is this even Craig Grant's channel? Let's go. Uh, let's click that again. It says four videos, blah, 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 scam buzz. Or did he delete his channel? I think he... Mm, I'm not too sure, guys. This has to be Craig's Grant's actual... No, this is the other channel. So yeah, he did. He either deleted his channel or this is his new channel right here. Or somebody made this channel and... Uh, no, no, no. No, nobody made this channel. This is his channel. And he's lost a lot of subscribers, guys. Um, he doesn't show his subscriber amount anymore, as you guys can see right here. So they can't, you know, they can't show that information. But... He's losing subscribers right now. I guarantee you that. Let's go to Crypto Nick real quick. Right over. By the way, guys, this is going to be the only video I ever make as far as uh, talking about other YouTubers. I don't like to do it. It's not really in me. I don't like it. Okay, here he is. 200,000 subscribers. Now, look at this, guys. He's been losing subscribers every now and then. Losing and losing. That's pretty crazy. Now, let's go to uh, Ryan Hildreth, right? Ryan Hill Drift. All right. And then right over here, he's been losing subscribers this entire time ever since January the 21st. So that's pretty crazy. And then let's look at Trevon James. Trevon James, which is right uh, here. And here we go. He is losing subscribers and gaining very infrequently. He gains a very small amount, 15, 13, 3. 
but the majority of time he is losing subscribers guys so as you guys can see these people are not going through uh, happy times they are definitely shunned in the cryptocurrency community people don't want to know about them they don't care for their videos honestly i don't care for their videos i don't really obviously people want to know about them right because people are watching these lawsuit uh, videos and all that stuff. But people don't care about their content anymore. You know, it's kind of true. I saw this one comment one time in one of their videos. And one person said something very specific. And they said, your... What do they say? They said, your, oh, your reputation is very important as a man. Right? Man or a woman, whatever. So... I kind of agree with that. You know, your reputation really is very important. And I guess that these four individuals really, really show how important your reputation can be. It could truly make or break a lot of things in your life. As you guys can see, these people are not just losing subscribers, but a lot of people hate them. A lot of people don't support them anymore. Their views are dropping dramatically. Let's go back over here just to show you guys also that their views are dropping dramatically. Um... It's not showing me the large amount that I need to look at right here. But look, let's say, uh, look, you guys can see right here. Look, December, bam, negative 747,000. That's crazy, man. That is crazy. But as you guys can see, these people are suffering losses and all that stuff. They are possibly going to get sued. I don't think they will, to be honest. That doesn't make sense to me. But uh, there's that. There's even people that are trying to look for information on them and stuff like that. It's very hideous. Like I said, guys, the Tony cryptocurrency right now is a very nasty, green, glowing cauldron that needs to be stopped. The only reason why I'm talking about this is simply because I am part of this community and I feel I need to talk about this. Um, I guess my last thoughts would be they are, they are people in the community. If you like them, then support them. If you dislike them, then don't support them. But let's move on. Let's move on from this Big Connect stuff. Let's move on from uh, all this drama with these four individuals. I make this video simply to tie everything up. And hopefully we all can get, you know, into agreement of this. I really doubt everybody would agree with me. But I think truly we should start moving on as a community. And we should start focusing on the real big picture. And it is Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies that is the big picture that is what we're here for let's get back to that guys if you guys want to join the genix team it's very simple in my description below my website is there genix to crypto.com very simple genix to crypto.com and you'll be taken to my website you click right over here genix team and you follow these four simple steps very quick easy and free and you get to join my private chat audio and video discord server so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i do daily cryptocurrency videos guys so make sure you guys subscribe i have passive income ways in the description below so make sure you guys check that out and i'll be seeing you guys on my next video take care